your live Doppler 8 first alert weather. Good evening, everyone. We're going to start you off with a live look over Columbia, where those dark clouds have started to bring down some rain along with some thunderstorms associated with that. Those thunderstorms are starting to grow out of Oklahoma into Springfield through Kansas City and starting to hit mid-Missouri. Taking a look at those watches and warnings out there, they're right across into Kansas, but right now those thunderstorms have worked their way into mid-Missouri. We are not expecting any of these to be severe. However, throughout the course of the night, they will produce large amounts of rainfall. As a warm front approaches our area, temperatures have started to move into some mid to upper 50s throughout the area. 57 is the trend in Columbia as well as into Jefferson City and Osage Beach. Even warmer still on into Sedalia where the current temperature is 63 degrees. As we mentioned, that temperature out there at the regional airport is 57 degrees with very high humidity right now up to 93%. Those winds are staying warm as well from the southeast at 23 to 26 miles per hour. So if you're out there maybe looking for lightning, be sure to hold on to your hats and bring an umbrella with you. Watches and mornings. Currently, we have a watch working its way into the Kansas City area, just staying south for thunderstorms. That thunderstorm warning did bring along with it some hail up to two and a half inches. So be extra careful tonight because that could be a threat as they work its way just south of the viewing area due to that warm front working its way, bringing in large amounts of gulf moisture, helping to not only feed those clouds, but fuel up some thunderstorms. There was a tornado warning working its way into expiring by 2 a.m. around mid-Oklahoma, which dropped one tornado just north of Norman. However, here in mid-Missouri, we're expecting to see some strong thunderstorms throughout the course of the night. However, none of these are expected to be too severe in terms of those strong winds are hail. Taking a look right after the show, though, we are going to have strongest amounts of thunderstorms just south of Columbia, continuing to gain momentum throughout the overnight hours and on into tomorrow morning. We will see more thunderstorms sticking around the area. However, Saturday afternoon, look at this. We could be getting some clear sky Saturday night as well. Sunday morning, though, early hours of the morning, 5 a.m., we have those thunderstorms returning. Another line of thunderstorms starting to work their way into the area throughout the day on Sunday. So we'll be seeing a mixture of clouds and some thunderstorms working their way into the area later on Sunday afternoon and becoming stronger and working their way out of the area by the overnight hours on Sunday. Low temperatures tonight are going to stay surprisingly warm by comparison, reaching that low of 57 degrees. Scattered passing showers and thunderstorms throughout the overnight hours. Tomorrow, though, we're going to be 20 degrees warmer than that high temperature we saw today, up at 76 degrees, thanks to that large amount of gulf moisture pushing into our area. Temperatures are going to stay warm into Sunday, but those thunderstorms are going to be sticking around as well. Into Monday, though, those showers and thunderstorms dissipate, but leave behind a cold front, which is going to dip those temperatures temperatures back on into the 60s as we start off next week. However, by this time next week, though, into next weekend, we're going to be seeing sunshine and some temperatures back on into the 70s. And if by any chance we do have severe weather this weekend here in mid-Missouri, stay right here on for, at KOMU and you'll have the latest information. Absolutely. Okay, Keep me up Elizabeth. to date.